All right, we finished up our problem statement. Now it's time to make a a um, flowchart out of it. So let's open up Visual Logic, and here we go. Whoa. Okay, too much. Um, I've already started this a little bit. Let's move this over. All right. So um, we have to create a um, a loop. So you can see that here. So let me increase this a little bit. So we have three things we need to do. One is how do we get into the loop? And we're using another guess equals yes. How do we get out of the loop? And we're going to use an input that allows a person to say no if there's not another guess. And then how do we know we're out of the loop? And that is our done looping. So we can go ahead and test this now to make sure it works. You want to make another guess? We answer yes. And it asks us again. So that means that we stayed in the loop. And then when we say no, it says done looping, and we know we're out of the loop. All right, so we're done with that. Uh, if we take a look at the next thing we need to do is we need to create those two inputs. So I'm just going to flop back and forth uh, between these two. So I have car make is the first one. And we'll go ahead and we'll put an input in. Okay, and that one is going to be car make. And then we want to hit the more and we want to have that. <coughs> so we're going to be using these. We're going to use. Okay, and then, then I'm going to go back here and grab these three. Those are our three different options. So I'm going to go back into the input, hit the more, and that could be our question. So they need to type in one of these three. Okay, and the next thing we have to do is ask them then what model for that make. All right, so we had a uh, car model, so I'm going to copy that, paste that in. Then we have to ask a question. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a complex decision. We're going to take the make that we used right here and use that in the prompt. So we're going to say, um, what model space quote, then I'm going to join that with car make, and then join that with the last part, um, would you like to guess, Quest, whoops, question mark. All right, so when they, if they say GM, then, then when we get to this next input, it's going to say, what model GM would you like to guess? And if in car, mock, car make they say Ford, then when they come down here, it's going to say what model Ford would you like to guess? What model Ford you'd like to guess? All right, so just a, a way for us to get some extra information into our input. All right, so the next thing we need to do now is we need to do this part right here. So the first one is going to be car make equals Dodge. So I'll go ahead and copy that, and we'll go ahead and add that in. So the first one we're going to do is dodge. Okay, if it's true, then we're going to go ahead and make a counter. All right, so let's go back and let's dodge count. Let's get dodge count plus one. And I'll go back and we'll use dodge count plus one. And I'll simply copy that over to here. So there's our counter using copying and pasting. And then I'll go ahead and create a decision. And that's going to be very similar to what we just had. Uh, dodge count equals one. All right, so that means this is the first time through. So if it's the first time through, then we're going to have to 
do this. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and copy this first. And we're going to have to make an assignment. And that assignment is this, oops, is this. And I'll bring this out so we can see what we're doing. Okay, and then in here, I'm going to have to use uh, Dodge Acume, but I can't copy it unless I close it. So I'm going to close it. Dodge Acume. Okay, so the first one is going to be this one. Then down here, I'm going to have an output, and the output's simply going to be Dodge Acume. So before I do anything else, I'm going to test this path to make sure that it works. All right, so I'm going to hit the play button. I'm going to put in dodge. And then model, I'm going to put in uh, dart. And it's going to show me one dodge, dodge, one dart. So we know that this is the kind of thing that this is the output they want. Come on. Let's see if we can go back here. Okay, so that's the output they want. So dodge one dot space space was this challenger, but we used Dart for that. So we know that that's working. And then let's go ahead and shut it down. So now we need to mark the other side. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and paste it over here. Because there's not much that changes. But I can go into my problem statement and replace the right side. Replace this with what's there. All right, so let's go down. And this is what we want to have on the right. So I'm going to copy that, move back here, and then paste this in. Okay, so now we can test the entire thing. So it's going to be a dodge. And it's going to be a charger. There's one dodge charger. And we say yes. Dodge. Uh, dart. And you can see now, even though it's not on separate lines, but we have dodge, then we have one charger, two dart, and that's very similar to the input that they wanted us to have right here. And again, we're going to format this when we output it, we use it in our code so that Dodge is on its own line, and then one charger and then two Dart will be on their own separate line. But we know that at least this flowchart is working. So let's go back and get rid of it. And then I'm going to uh, do the same thing I did with the problem statement. And that is, since this works, there's no sense in me recreating it. I'm just going to simply put my mouse pointer icon to the left of this outside one and above this one right here. I'm going to go ahead and copy these objects. And then I'm going to move over here and create another if condition. Actually, what I should have done was this. Let's go ahead and grab all of them like that. Let's make sure I got all of them. Nope, I was missing one. Not enough from here. But come on. Okay, so I want to make sure I grab everything here, so I'm going to go ahead and... Dang it. All right. So this, that's what I want to grab. I'm going to copy that. It's hard staying in this window. And then I'm going to go ahead and paste it. So now I have dodge. 
So I'm going to do the same thing I did before. So the second one we have uh, this is going to be Ford, I think. Yeah, Ford. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab copy Ford and paste it all over. All right, so this is going to be Ford with capital F. And I'm running out of time already. Okay, and then I'm going to come down to the rest of these. Jeez. And I'm going to paste in forward. Paste in forward. Paste in forward. And it's important that I don't miss one of these or it will not work correctly. Okay, and then this will be Ford with capital F. And then this is Ford. Okay, out here there wasn't anything that said Dodge, so here we're going to change this to Ford. And then this. And we're running out of time. Come on. Okay, and then the output for the kill. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and test this real quick and then shut this down. All right, so I have Ford. Whoops. And let me go ahead and copy that. And the model is going to be a Mustang. So there's Ford Mustang. Yes. Um, and then Ford again. And Ford, I can't even think, Pinto. How's that? And now we had Mustang and Pinto. So we can see this one's working perfectly. So um, when I start the video back up again, I'm going to have the GM already done. And we're going to get on to finishing this up with error checking and error trapping.